What is up guys, it is AJ from MMA Experts and we are talking about the fight between Joe Duffy and Joel Alvarez. Um, interesting matchup at lightweight here. Uh, Topology has them ranked pretty far back in terms of rankings, but I think that both these guys are pretty solid fighters. 16-2 and two for Alvarez, 16-4 uh, and four for Duffy and a win over Conor McGregor in the mix, so he's always going to be legit. Huge height discrepancy. One thing I got to mention, look at that. 5'10 to 6'3. Now, luckily, Joel is more of a great Grappler. And I think that Joe Duffy's boxing is just going to be too much for him on the feet. Now, will Joel get him down? I don't know. The thing is, he's very good off his back. And I don't think Joe Duffy is going to play that game with him. I don't think he should play that game with him because I think Joel could definitely tap him out. Um, let's go down to some notes here that I have for Joe L. Can be taken down and controlled. But he's known for that high-level submission skill off his back, and he'll reverse you. He did that to his last opponent, and then he brutally ground and pounded. Uh, excuse me, brutally ground and pounded him after losing the first like round and a half, and he gets the stoppage win. So pretty impressive there for Joe Duffy coming off a loss, I believe, over Mark Jacase. I have his record right here. Yeah, Mark Jacase, who's very skilled, and then before that he was knocked out by James Vick. But let's not doubt Joe Duffy. He's had some tough fights, but he trains at TriStar. He's got a great coach. He's 32 years old, so right now this is his time. I believe he's got maybe two to three more years left to really make a push. And let's see if Joe Duffy is championship material or not. I definitely think he could be. I think he just really needs to uh, improve a couple things, maybe get a little bit better at his leg kick defense, a little bit better off his back and getting up to his feet and not make as much mistakes, but he, he's a pretty good fighter overall. I think he definitely has this one. Um, I, I'm, pre I'm predicting a, a late TKO. I'm going to pick him by late TKO, probably in the third round. I feel like he's just going to be a lot better on the feet than Joel. I think Joel's grappling though is really nasty, so he could get a submission win. Let's not doubt the fact that if he gets it down, he could keep it down and he could definitely get Joe Duffy to tap. But I'm picking him, Joe Duffy, to win a uh, late TKO, not a decision. And hopefully we get a good fight out of these guys. Hopefully it's not a, a fight that's a dud. I think it could be really good. Both these guys are solid. Excited. Plus 265 underdog, minus 350 favorite. I'm sitting out betting on this one. It's not worth it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next prediction video.